Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day a daily bread. I want to believe he told you things different from the lies that he told me. That you took him to places different from where he and I have been to for pleasure. Oh, it seems you're made of gold. You invade my house at this hour and begin to live in your fantasy. The gods make me wonder the substance people like you take. <laughs> I really want to be nice to you, but you're acting stupid. You do not shut your trap and sit your head, sit your head down. He told me he was done with you. He did. He told me, and <laughs> I believed him. But. I don't understand why. Why? Tell me. Why did he do it with you? Why have you been mentally sick? I do not even know you. Mentally sick. I am the woman carrying Marcos's child. Man whose ears have had all the lies in the world. The woman whose life is about to be caught short. Whose dreams and aspirations are about to be buried six feet on the native fucking earth. And you sit down and talk to me. Oh well, what do you know? And you're here thinking that I'm the author of your mental suffering. Mental suffering? Thank you. She said suffering. I am not suffering, honey. I am not. Do my hands stink? Let me show you what mental suffering is. I've been waiting on you the whole day. Sorry, I put buried into the world so I, I could eat up my sandwich. You hungry? No, I'll be fine. A glass of wine will be fine now. I'll be fine with a glass of wine. Alright then. Thank you. 
we can have been. You are yet to tell me where you've been to the whole day. I just told you. No, you lied. I want the truth. I've been out there working for you and I. I'm back home tired and this is what I get from you. <laughs> oh, okay. Did you come back with your Rose Royce for me? Or a Range Rover Sport? Because I don't understand you, Mr. Hardworker. Listen, Eve. Hmm. If you have nothing else to tell to me about, I think I have to go to bed now. Ah! Uh, hold it. <laughs> Why is it still with blood? You said I was good to you. And perfect for you. So what happened? <laughs> well, I got you some cakes. <laughs> mm. that it may be part of the design oh i'm sure your lover got a cut of the fleshy cake eve eve apologies my dearest hardworking man you see i got carried away <laughs> I have good news and bad news for you. Which would you like first? Eve, can you stop this and tell me what's going on? Can you stop this and tell me what... What, what kind of stones are you trying to pull? Okay, fine. Fine! <laughs> Calm down. I went to see the doctor yesterday. Which you go first? Okay, yes. <laughs> And this. Hello? You're not happy? We're having a child! Come on, Nikki. This is not what I asked you. I still want to know why the wristwatch and the blood is and, and the knife is stained with blood. You need to calm down. Curiosity, they say, kills the cat, you know. <laughs> why don't you wait while the story unravels? I am not patient anymore, Eve. Tell me what I asked you! One more. The doctor also said, mm. that I am positive. Christ. Aha. Uh -huh. How? Yes, I, I thought so. Tell me, my dearest hardworking man, how did we get here? What if I'm positive? 
positive. Honey, I want you to put in my drink. All that, a little something to tease you up. You know it's your birthday. Ah! Oh, ah! It's your birthday. <gasps> ah! accused of killing your partner and his ex-lover. Is that true or false? Yes. You see, Mr. Osoke, I killed him. Yes. I killed him. Because he was killing me slowly. He burnt my emotions into ashes. Nothing was caused in broken bones. You know, I wanted to stay calm. But even the silence was a killer too. You know, that night, the night of his birthday, when he came back from his lover's apartment, he was oozing of a woman's vagina. Oh, his shirt as well, stained with a woman's lipstick. Of course you can guess what I did. Can't you? I grabbed this beautiful kitchen knife. And I was lying on the floor begging. <laughs> I wanted to help him. You know, I really wanted to help him. But you already crushed the better part of my life. So I held it and I ripped off his flesh, starting from his heart, oh no, from his chest, right down where the heart belongs.
and left him with nothing but skulls and broken bones. So yes, officer, I killed him because he killed me first. Okay, that's me all. I'll be on my way now. Uh, oh no! If you want more information, do you know his date to call on me? Miss Eve, for the last time, did you or did you not murder your lover and his ex-girlfriend? Yes, I did. I murdered them both. I, I saw everything that happened. I just, I just said that. I killed them. You have a beautiful place. Thank you. How long have you been staying here? Two years. You look surprised. Oh no. I'm just proud of you. <coughs> what? Nothing. It's just that you never had anything good to say about me in the past. Life happens, Mira. Indeed. So now you're a changed man. All soft and gentle. Let's just say I grew beyond my temper. <sighs> and that was what I never thought would happen. Ever. You don't believe in miracles, do you? Mm -hmm. You do, right? I used to believe in love, and that was why I invested everything that I had. I gave it my all. Love is still as beautiful as your thoughts, Mira. Love is a beautiful thing. Love is as beautiful as you are, Mira. You see, love is like being locked in a beautiful dark room with a huge padlock. You have the keys, but you can't unlock the door. Everyone out there can hear you scream. But nobody really cares because you're locked in a beautiful room, believed to be a comfort zone. Did you just describe your relationship with me? Yeah. Just describing love as it is. You see, you expect and trust that the person you're in love with illuminates the room. And then, boom, light is impossible. <laughs> so it leaves me wondering, why do we even trust people? Humans needs to trust. Trust and this anxiety. It helps to kill the pressure. And it makes you see the possibility of consistently investing in interest. But you never trusted Mira. Mira. Do you want me to pour you some wine? Oh, 
I was going to tell you to use protection, but I guess you couldn't wait. Are we strangers? What if I'm positive? Positive? Where is it coming from? Of course, I know it too well. You can be careless. We're good. Right? Thank you. you do realize this is a very, very tough case. You could be locked up for the rest of your life or given a death sentence. You'd be crucified like Jesus. <laughs> You'll be crucified for your sins and for the sins of those you murdered. Mm. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You have a life of anguish, sorrow, regrets, mm. pain, and there'll be nobody, I repeat, nobody coming to save you. But this with 250 million naira, I can make all this go away. Just like that? Yes, just like that. Mm. No autopsy, no dead bodies, no evidence, nothing. You can trust me on this. Do you remember the case of Almighty Roberto? Oh, come on, Roberto, the man who killed his co workers with a pistol. Don't just give me that look, just listen to me. Even the judge or your reverend father will testify on your behalf and then all of this mess will go away. Imagine if Roberto roams the street as a free man. So, tell me, Miss Eve, deal or no deal? Peace of the Lord be with you in jail. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from all evil. Amen. in use and see. Father running towards me with 
it's 